Road salt's been used for decades as an effective method to keep the road safe in the winter, but recent studies show that the road salt eventually does make its way into waterways and lakes. WBRE WYOU Eyewitness News reporter Thomas Battle spoke with a professor who's looking into the effects that this could have on our environment. Dr. Bill Hintz just published a study looking at higher salinity within freshwater lakes. Freshwater lakes that are slowly becoming saltier as road salt continues to trickle in. They eventually wash off our roads. They wash into adjacent uh, groundwater sources. They found that with higher salt salinity, lower numbers of zooplankton were around, and that could lead to a domino effect. When we see a reduction in zooplankton abundance, it's possible that that food source for young fish could just be reduced substantially, which could lead to reduced growth, reduced survival. Less zooplankton means more algae and dirtier lakes. But it doesn't just affect life within the lake, but possibly our own drinking water, too. We're starting to see that build up substantially in our surface waters, where maybe in a lake, like one of the Great Lakes, we draw our drinking water from. But that doesn't change the fact that road salts have become a necessity for keeping motorists safe in winter. Sodium chloride is very effective in creating that chemical reaction that we need at the roadway surface interface. And PennDOT has done its research. We make sure that we're using the right amount of salt and that we're controlling the scatter and the balance of the material so that it stays within the roadway. Both science and transportation officials agree that alternative methods need more research. The science is showing that these de-icing salt alternatives to sodium chloride really aren't having um, any less ecological impact. In Dunmore, Lackawanna County, Thomas Battle, 2822 Eyewitness News. Beet juice is one method with potential, but research done by PennDOT and other scientific studies show that it could also harm wildlife.